Hello friends, having understood one problem, let's move on to solve one more problem. Now this problem though is of the same type, but it is going to be somewhat different and that is the reason we are doing it. So after second problem, there are going to be n number of problems that you can practice. However, all the problems will be totally dependent on the problem 1 and 2 which we have solved. So after that, whatever you are going to do is going to be for derivation of that particular string using purely trial and error method. So every time you face a question like this, you have to do trial and error to get your answers. So let's get started. So the question given over here is my problem 2 which says I have S gives A B and B A with me then I have my A is giving me small a or A S or B A A I have my B giving me small b or B S or A capital B capital B and we are asked to derive using LMD and RMD for triple A and triple B as the first string and there is one more string over here which after this you are supposed to derive and that will be using the production rule to get AABA it's not AABAA -A -A, it is AABA -A. so let's get started with the problem so my solution says initially to get a a a b b b using my lmd i say start with s i write lm over here and let this s gives me capital a b this is using s gives small a capital b coming down since there is only one variable so that will be the leftmost variable and this time I say I will be using my B gives me small a capital B capital B so this will be small a capital B capital B with a small a giving me the first two a's going down I now use again the same production so I say let my b gives a b b now which b are we talking of the leftmost b which i just underlined so this leftmost b will be replaced by a capital b capital b rest everything will remain same that is two a's before it capital b after it and now since my three a's are derived and i have to derive three b's Everyone watching this video, I'm very sure might have guessed that each one of the B will be replaced by my singular B giving me the string triple A triple B. But just for the sake of formality, let's complete the problem. So now I say let's be giving small B for the leftmost B giving me A A A small B capital B capital B giving me this again using the same thing. This capital B will be giving me a small b. To the right, I have the same thing. To the left, I have the same thing. And I see one more b is derived. And then finally, again using the same production, this b will be replaced by small b, giving me three a's and three b's. And I say the string triple a triple b is derived using my LMD. Now let's go ahead and derive using RMD. Now for RMD for deriving triple A triple B let us say my S is giving me for my RM derivation capital AB once again using the same production as we use for LMD that is S gives small a capital B. Then now I say in place of B, let us use my B gives small a capital B capital B. So using this, I say small a capital B capital B over here and a small a over here. Right. Now among these two B's, I see that I will be substituting for this and till now my two A's are already derived. So I say now for this B, 
let us use the simplest of the production rule b gives me small b so if i use this thing what am i going to get over here not for this b for the rightmost b a a followed by b will be remaining as it is and a small b over here generating me this particular part further going ahead for this b now i say i derive using b gives a b b for this so a capital b capital b over here small b over here and two is before this this makes sure that my three a's are generated and two b's are generated and the problem is solved so we just have to substitute for this b with a small b and finally this b with a small b and we come across the solution so i say now using b give small b i have a a a capital b small b small b lastly again using the same thing i have triple a and triple b with all of my string triple a triple b derived so that completes the rmd for the first string triple a triple b now it is the time to derive for second string a a b a so let's get started with the lmd for that now over here let me say for my second example to derive a a b a using lmd my leftmost derivation s gives capital a b and let this be derived s q small a capital b so among this a generated now to generate for b let me say i am using b gives a b b so that has my a a capital b capital b with me and i further see that my another a is being generated now i want to derive for the leftmost b now let's say for this leftmost b i am substituting the smallest production so using b give small b a a small b capital b guaranteeing me a a b derived and now i have a capital b left with me which should be capable of giving me a single small a to get the required string but when i look into the productions of b i see that i have a small b or bs or abb but there is no way i can derive a small a out of it even if i say i consider b gives abb later on my b has to again give small b and thereby increasing the length of the string so over here you can try out any possible combination using this production rule i from my side conclude that the string is not derivable so therefore we write over here therefore the string or the sentence is not derivable now since that sentence is not derivable using lmd let's start using rmd and see whether we are able to derive that sentence there is a important note to be followed over here if a sentence is not derivable using lmd it cannot be derived using rmd2 that is a de facto rule so if a sentence is derivable it has to be derivable using both lmd and rmd since over here we can clearly see that lmd is not possible so we need not check for rmd because it is also 100% not possible however in the exam if the example or the sentence given is complicated and you are still confused whether a string is derivable or not i would suggest to try using both lmd and rmd and see and if you are not able to derive using both lmd and rmd then you finally conclude that the string is not derivable however as per the definition only checking one is sufficient so here we complete the second problem i will not be drawing the parsity representation because that is very simple derivation we have covered over here see you in the next session thank you very much